congratulations on the purchase of your brand spanking new 2020 Ford Edge Titanium. My name's Jim Brickle from Edler and Ford, and I want to show you a brief overview of the controls on your new vehicle. For example, at the back, we do have our foot activated power lift gate. As you approach the vehicle, wave your foot underneath and the lift gate will come up. So it is completely hands-free. And if you did want to, there's also a button right here for closing, or you could use your foot again. As you come around onto the driver's side of the vehicle, at the back, our fuel door, and it is the Ford Easy Fuel System. So no gas cap required. The door handles are intelligent access, so when I touched it there, it locked. Touch it here, they unlock. Same goes on the front. Inside on the driver door, you have your power locks and your programmable positions for your driver's seat. So one, two, and three for three main drivers. Moving down, the mirror controls which mirror you want, which direction you need it to move, and then your power windows. The driver's seat, actually both front seats, are power adjustable. The main one here moves forward and back, your angle of recline, and your lumbar support. So once you've got the chair programmed where you want it to be, you go back up, hit number one, hold it until it beeps, and that chair is locked into your position. As we get in the vehicle, it has a push button start. So just to the right of the steering column with your foot on the brake. You've been exposed to the virus and get tested if you're worried you need Now, you can customize the settings so you're getting the information that you want in the vehicle. Right now, this one is showing we have a low fuel level. If we hit OK, we can look at other choices. So with the five-way on the steering column, you can change your displays up here. And it's indicating you can go up, down, or left. So if we go down, we added in the engine temperature. Now we've got the tire pressure, speedometer digitally. And if you hit the OK, it'll switch from kilometers to miles per hour and back again. Intelligent four-wheel drive. Which wheels are actually in use when uh, the four-wheel drive kicks in? Are you driving with the rear wheels, the front wheels, or all wheels? And a handy one here, distance to empty, 75 kilometers, and back to the beginning. Now, that's in our display mode. Trip 1 and Trip 2, you can set trip odometers, uh, reset them individually, so whether you want to see your total distance traveled or um, recording mileage for work. Under Fuel Economy, you can see your average fuel economy in a little graph format, and as you go down, it shows the average speed of this vehicle so far has been 23 kilometers an hour. When you're down to Driver Assist, You've got your blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, cruise control. So all of these things you can turn on and off. Blind spot on your mirrors, they'll light up yellow if there's someone coming up in your blind spot so you're not trying to switch lanes. Cross traffic alert, when you're backing out of a parking spot, the vehicle is looking sideways. If a vehicle is approaching, it will notify you It'll, that a vehicle is coming from the left or the right. Under driver alert, oops. And so there's a variety of settings for you there. Lane keeping. You can have it as alert only, so that'll vibrate the steering wheel. Aid, it'll help steer you back into the lane, alert and aid, vibrate the steering wheel and let you know, um, or and help you get back into the lane. So, 
when activated, make sure you always signal your lane changes, otherwise the vehicle can be trying to fight you. And then the intensity you can also adjust. And under your settings, for vehicle, the auto engine off, the easy entry, lighting. My key is uh, for beginner drivers, you can program it so it can limit the top end speed and stereo volume. And under display setup, your units, whether you want it in liters per 100 kilometers, miles per hour, your temperature, whether you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit. So you can pretty much pick and choose what you want and how it's displayed. You can and if uh, English is not your main language, you can also choose French or Spanish. Now, down below your five-way, you've got your cruise control. So on, off, cancel, resume, and... You've got uh, for lane centering assist. You can turn that on and up here on the turn signal if you push that in that activates the lane keeping system to turn it on or to turn it off on the right hand side of the steering column we have another five-way this time it controls the information displayed on the right hand side so we can choose from entertainment navigation or phone when in navigation, it'll just show a compass unless you have a destination programmed. And under entertainment, it would show you what channel might be playing on the stereo. Down below, your phone to answer and hang up. A very important button here is your voice button. With this, there's about 10,000 commands you can say and the vehicle can carry out. For example, FM 105.7. Tuning to FM 105.7. So I was able to turn on the radio just with my voice. If I had wanted to, I could also set temperature 20 degrees. Setting temperature to 20 degrees. Find a place. Searching nearby. Please say the name of the POI. Ed Learn Ford. Please say a line number or say none of those. Two. Please say a line number or say none of those. One. When ready, Press the voice button and then say set as destination or dial the number. Set as destination. Setting new destination. Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. So it's shown me I'm 600 meters away from Edler and Ford and it should take me about a minute to get there. If I decide that's not where I want to go, I can cancel route. Canceling route. So the system is quite easy to use. Now, under controls, we've got audio, climate, phone, navigation, With our sources, we've got AM, FM, and Sirius Satellite Radio. And... So, you can do things um, by touching the screen, or you can do it by voice. When it comes to your phone, add phone. Then go to the Bluetooth settings on your phone, and it'll pick up Ford Edge, 
give you a PIN number, you'll pair your phone to the vehicle, and from then on you'll be able to make hands-free calls and accept calls. Uh, you'll also want to make sure that you've uh, downloaded the Ford Pass app, and we'll activate the app when you take possession of your new vehicle. One of the other fun ones with regards to navigation, at least in my opinion, is you can say the following phrase. I'm hungry. Please say a line number or say none of those. Two. When ready, press the voice button and then say set as destination or dial the number. Set as destination. Set new destination. Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. So by uh, just saying I'm hungry, it showed where all the restaurants were in the area. You can also cancel a route by hitting the red X and confirming the cancellation. Down below, we have our cooling seats. So three blue bars means extra cooling. You can go medium, low, and no cooling. The red would be your heated seats, high, medium, low as well. And then your temperature, each side of the vehicle can be set to its own temperature, fan speed adjustments. And between the seats, the gear shift is now a rotary dial. So with your foot on the brake, you would shift from park to reverse, neutral, or drive. Your parking brake is here. Uh, the vehicle has an auto stop start feature. You can override it from here. It also has automated parking. When you push this button here, go up to your screen, parallel park out, parallel park, perpendicular park, so the vehicle can actually park for you. It's really neat to watch. And the other button we had down here was shutting off the uh, reverse sensors. So if you had a trailer behind you, you wouldn't want something within six feet, so you would shut up that off. And this has been a brief overview of your new 2020 Ford Edge Titanium. Any additional questions, please contact Jim Brickle at Ed Learn Ford. Thank you and enjoy your ride.